Hi guys, uh, good day to every of our listeners out there. Uh, this is um, M and B, yeah, M and B, masculine and bold. As usual, we know this is men's corner where we discuss things pertaining to men, things genuinely, basically, literally about men alone. Yeah, this is main corner, and you know that seeing a lady here will feel like a contrast. Like, what's she doing here? Contrast, like, what's she doing here? Like, but truth to be told, you know, when you get to a point, you stop seeing things from your own perception and you want to see it from another person's perception. That's under gender, that's other gender we talk about. Yeah, my name is Oguleye Ibrahma Yedele, the community of Ba and I have with me a. My name is Omala De Adifalayu. Okay, and before we go on today's show, the topic for our today's um, discussion is what are the, um, how can I put it, so it won't seem kind of body shaming like in people's ear. Okay, the preferences of ladies towards men's physicality, I mean their body, like their preferences, what are the things that affect it, what makes them think like okay I want the skinny one, I want the thick one, I want the tall one, I want the dark one and when you hear people talk about dark, tall, dark and handsome, tall, dark and handsome like they don't include sense, they don't include any other thing, you understand? But that is not our major point of discussion today but before we go ahead into our discussion I love us to go on short, short, short break, we'll be right back Welcome back, people. As we said, this is masculine and bold. Masculine and bold. M and B, not M and B capsule. Masculine and bold. Mm, yeah, 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 when we talk about men, 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 like the Why big, big Don't things, know. big Don't things. So basically, Omalade, I want you to introduce yourself to our listener. Who are you? What is Omalade? Who is Omalade? Sorry for using the words. Like, who is Omalade? Omalade. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That question is even funny. Like, what about what you want to know about Omalade? Can you just... Like, what do you do? Like, who are you? Like, okay. yeah, you guys must have seen this army growing on our head. You know, it implies something. <laughs> it implies the tricky. You understand? So, don't let us go too much, you know, in depth on that. Basically, let's go to our topic today. We're discussing ladies' preference about guys' physicality. What's, what's our take on this? What are the major things that shape ladies' preference in guys? Hmm. Number one thing I will say is that seeing a guy first before you start falling in love with him. Number okay. one thing that I will first capture you about the guy is. Must you use falling in love? Why can't you use whatever, attraction? Whatever, okay, attraction. Okay. Is the physical. Okay. So the body, maybe the top, like me and I, I. Before, if you're a short guy, you can't even come to me. Before okay. you say one or two, I was just like, who are you? Yeah, sorry, I don't, I don't do short. But people don't make themselves. Do you know that? Yes, I know short guys actually need tall girls too. Sorry to say, <laughs> sorry to say. This makes them feel like they are needy, like their place. Yes, you need tall girls too. To help your children's ministry. Right? Yes, to help your offspring. Okay. But no offense, there are still some girls that like short guys because they are really good. In the other aspect. <laughs> no, when you say they are really good, you are picking your hand down. No, I'm not picking my hand down. I'm just trying okay. to like dance. So they are good. That maybe that's the reason why some girls like short guys. Because Based like on what you guys. said now, I said for you, like short guys can't even come close. What makes you feel that way? Are you too tall? Love again, this and that. Because I've met a short guy. And I was giving myself an excuse in my head that this guy is not short. It's not short. It's not short. It's not short. Okay. Just, so, so by the end of the day, you have so much shortcomings, right? <laughs> AB, AB. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So some girls that say, okay, I don't date, I can't date a short person. Okay. You can't even. At the end, you see some girls even ending up with a short guy. Yeah. So same thing with guys. You guys also have your own preference. Yes. Yesterday, some guys they were talking. They didn't even know I was even listening to what they were saying. I'm like, ah. If I want to date a girl, she must be this. Her front must be her back must be that. I cannot date someone that is just straight. Okay. So if a straight girl should come to that, people really do. Either they use the girl to just catch cruise, or they just use that to pass time before they can see. Why somebody else that a taller person was like, ah, that him, he does not go with short girls. That I prefer tall girls that may she just get the back. Okay. So whenever he's doing the do, it will go well. Ah, okay. So different people and what they want. 
But for you, what channel your own uh, preference towards that height of eating? Like, why are you attracted nice. to it all, guys? Like, what makes that attraction comes up? Like, is there a sense of what kind of vibe does it give you the being least, with it all, guy? The least I can go is maybe my height. Okay, like what? What are the things that propel you to be attracted to tall guys? Like what are that things? Like what do you consider? Okay, I think maybe when I'm going, so that when I'm going out in public, I can be able to like show you. And you know, girls, something about girls. When I tell my friends that oh, I have a girl, I have, I have a guy, guy. Yeah, send this picture. Okay. Something like I'm able to brag that. Oh, Romo Mini. Oh, we baby me. <laughs> I take pictures. I do couple goals. We do mirror selfie. I'm like, stand tall. I'm like, Cause I stand like, strong. Like, Hope you no go my no. Why you want to hug me? That's why you want to hug me. You be on my, you be head resting on my chest. Why? Like, like as if you want to suck. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why is your head resting on my chest? Let me okay. be one. Uh-uh. Okay. 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 But this for uh, societal standard, right? It doesn't pertain to anything. Maybe sexuality or emotional thing for you. Hmm, this is, this is the place of the Lord, so should we go down? No, 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 you are, you are free, you are free to go. Ah, those guys too, they are, they, are, they are okay in their own way. They are okay in their own way. Are you talking about sexual preference right now? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. That mean, you mean tall guys do well more than short guys? I don't know. Are you trying to say that someone <laughs> to jump up one room and say that? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, based on you girls just now, you have one or just two. Just like I said earlier, they say short guys are really good. See this guy, what's his name? This Ken something, one short guy that does American movie like this. Um, see the, Kevin see Hart. The, see the babe, see his babe. Hey, yeah. Why is the girl pushing? Why are they pushing themselves? It's not because the guy is, <laughs> the guy is good in, in the other room. So uh, What makes you think that's the reason? What makes you think because that's Because you don't say reason? girls, we talk. So definitely, some of us have said, ah, I want to make Kekere. Okay. Kekere can kill. When you say Kekere can kill, hmm. Kukuru can destroy. Kekere la ben kere ko she mi fun baba di ye. Kekere can kill, Kekere can destroy. That's why they used to ail them there. Okay. But okay, uh, let me quickly ask this question because when you were talking about or uh, okay, uh the maybe another side of it like maybe sexually. Usually something most people say then I want you to correct me like it seems like it meets like okay, guys that are tall that are lanky that they are not fleshy like they are so heavy down there but I'm bad, I'm bad. What is this? Yeah, legelege can destroy. That one too, but so guys that legelege like, to can destroy. Mm. That if you feel that breeze can blow them. Those that are big, they play Kenny Gun. Hey, hey, you've been playing. Hey, 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 so it's a stated fact for like once you are twenty one, give up on buying abs. Uh, don't let people collect your money. So are you sure can't you don't go buy abs? I don't take so abs you don't for what? Just, you just go. I take you abs for up. pie, not abs or maybe a lab mate or anything. Good person, we used to fire. Like we can always find out after the show. <laughs> <laughs> So, that being said, I really want to come from the angle of the discussion you said you overheard yesterday that some guys were discussing, like ladies and all that. Some guys, we are by mouth, we are not by action. I used yes. to be a fan of, I used to be a fan of Big Bomb Bomb, like Big Bomb Bomb. I'm for the Bomb Bomb, not for the, you understand? But truth to be told, in all my dating, I hardly have I dated someone with, no, they are just of moderate size, like, you know, Most not really. Most men, if you ask them, those married men when you ask them that did you end up marrying your spec they will say no yeah because probably most of most people don't see the aspect in the kind of body shape they expect and sometimes you see the body's uh, spec you expect but you don't see your type in them that's why i say that some guys when you see a lady you are not first attracted by what she has upstairs is her physical body ah, um, we, um, we, you set to my camera you buy as in I want to walk back or go. I want to yes, in your day. Okay. But when I start talking to her, so the like way I went, I decide, ah, ah. And there are some that they are not your spec, they are not your type, but once you come close to discuss with them, you start to see, like, okay, this you is. You not start cool. giving excuses in your brain, ah, her money didn't make sense. She's not that flat. Yeah. If yeah. she wears it very well, she'll look okay. Start yeah. giving excuses for her. So. That's you just overwriting your, uh, what do you call it, your first. Uh, 
your red first analysis towards them. That's the prejudice. Look, I've been red flag to start looking, looking like pink. pink. You start oh, okay. giving excuse for them. Thank well, basically, for you, it's just tall guys, right? Yes. Well, talking about complexion, I don't think I have. Anyway, sure. Sure, 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 sure. But some girls like I, I, the Tall, there has to be dark. Like, you can't date a fair guy. I'm like, what's your reason? She said, when they go out, every the guy is attractive. Everybody, you know, as a fair guy, and when you pass, people know that ah, but but turn just pass through. But a dark guy, nobody. I'm like, now girls are even concentrating more on that guy. That guy is when that people guy like pass, Dennis, like, like uh, fine boy. Like. When a dark guy pass now, people like, ah, ah, wow, this guy is my spec. This guy is my shit. But fair guys. I, I think that has to do with a lot of contrast. And when I mean contrast, like when you are fair, you, in a way, psychologically, you tend to be attracted to someone that is dark. Mm. I think it's just that way because, you know, I don't say some things on here, but, you know, the way it is, there's this. Uh, you know, there's this what? Like, I was telling you that see this of us now when we go together and our children. Are you using that medium to ask me out on the air? <laughs> like who come out straight. Who am I? No, 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 I'm just telling you. Yeah. Anyways, okay. The, the 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 thing here is that in all of these, I'm talking about uh, the height. I'm talking about the complexion, maybe the, the abs or no abs. Like all these are major things that part things or that contribute to you deciding who you want to be with, right? As a lady. Not really, you. Because we were saying something. I was just telling someone. I'm like, hmm. at the end of everything, we may never end up marrying. People that we wish to marry. I may mean, marry someone now with Port Belly, and I'm sure that sorry, I don't like a guy with Port Belly. When you are on me, I want to talk to you. You know? Mm, mm. I, you have deeper, like, no, in depth knowledge. I don't marry someone that is fat. Me, I'm like a legal. You're no, not like a legal. Have you seen me tell I'm not like a legal, please? So, that when will I get married and I and I end up marrying someone that is fat? What we used to say, I said, please get on, make my say, she knows she's full of person. Fat. I'm shouting. I cannot marry someone that is short. When I saw that is short, and really likes me, and I find out, I find things that I want in a guy in him. Like money. Who does like, like money? You even don't like money, but you be happy with yourself because no. I don't know why you get. Please don't even let us go there. You guys are like no. There's like there's one thing. There's one thing like in money. There's one another thing working for money. Ladies like money. They don't want to work for it. Not what all ladies. I stand to be correct. There's some ladies. Women that want. Their main money independence them. once they solve for themselves like i'm independent because of two <laughs> five so they start to categorize themselves as independent but when it comes to real bees like you know they want to pay for apartments they are independent like when your man just gives you it i'm like hey, you take anything you want that feeling like, ah. like someone else is sweet they just give it on platter of like oh, what, what are you offering <laughs> no nah, truth to be told, if someone wants to date you now what are you bringing to the table what am I bringing? I'm bringing myself. <laughs> yourself, like what? What contains yourself? What am I bringing to the table? Ah, the party, the bed. You want to date me, so you know what I'm bringing. Now, I'm, I'm asking for the sake of people that might be attracted okay, to I'm you. Attracted yeah, to but there are people here in the studio that they want you. What do you bring into the table? Like, I, bring, I don't know. You don't know. Okay. I don't know what I bring to the table. <laughs> this, or, okay, you want to say something? You, what do you bring to the table? I bring a lot of things. Like first fina- finance. Now we're talking about security, mm-hmm. sense, intelligence, <laughs> like so much spirituality, Past. sexuality. Okay, you know a lot of things, countless. I literally give you my life where I'm coming to your table. That's mm-hmm. meant for you. Me too. You know, <laughs> you, you only bring <laughs> peace of meat to the table. <laughs> no, I, I'll give you peace of mind. I'll, I'll bring peace of mind to the table. Peace of mind. You don't yeah. look like someone that has peace. Uh-uh. But that's by the way. <laughs> yeah, this is still masculine and bold people. And thank you for, you know, tuning in, staying there. Please try to follow our YouTube channel, Fortress Media, and click on the subscribe button below to, you know, get more content for us. But before we draw the curtain today, I want you to just tell guys out there, like, People that are short, what do you have for them? Like, short guys, what do you have for them? People that are short, you are handsome in your own way. Don't let any tall girl come and It's basically like you are, you are making more clear <laughs> no, of them. No, no, don't, like, don't, don't let any tall girl start saying, no, you are too short. Don't mind them. You are strong. Kiki can destroy. Kiki can kill. Just okay. always have that in the back of your mind. Kiki can, can, can destroy. Can destroy. You are 
perfect just where you are. Don't don't let one tall girl come and start stressing you saying that you Okay, what about what about guys that are some guys that they don't just have abs, some like then it's like they are it's fine but is yeah, is they are pot belly. Some, those that have pot belly are sugar daddy vibes. That's what they are giving now. So don't let ah, one okay. girl start stressing you that ah, what okay. wrong girl I don't have you as I'm stressing that I'll go to the gym, use the flat tummy and everything. Just sugar daddy vibe. What about for the lanky guys, someone like Victor? Lege, like, lege. Yeah. Wow, lege lege can kill also. They, they can, can kill destroy. also, okay. Okay. So, see, see him feel himself. Okay, uh-huh. okay. <laughs> but for we guys like this, our fair in complexion, we are not, so not so dark. We are not dark, yeah. Ah, you are supposed to shine. <laughs> <laughs> you step into the room, you have to do what? Shine. You don't even need to introduce yourself. Your complexion will tell everybody that this is who you are. All right. So you don't have to start using black cream. Yeah, start you know, that cream. Yeah. Dark cream or start feeling bad about your color. I actually do. Guys. I actually do appreciate before you men talk about that, guys. That it's for every speck of guy you have one thing or the other to make them feel, you know, loved, cared for. And someone is just like, okay, oh, I'm just saying it for the media, no, for no, the PR, that's what I say for now. the PR. Now I see if it's Even genuine. Slim girls like me. Slim girls are saying they want to get fat. Okay, you're looking at me, but I'm sleeping. You're not slim, Mama Lady. Even fat girls. You are like, long. <laughs> you are not even tall. <laughs> even fat girls, you are just. You are beautiful in your own way. Don't let one man start stressing you and saying you should go to the um, What about the carry... Coca-Cola people? You said <laughs> kind of now. Which like, one? someone like uh, Cynthia. Yeah. You don't let one man start stressing. One man with pot belly start stressing that you should go to the gym. You should be carrying... No, <laughs> Cynthia does not have anything to go to the gym. Like, it's just going to be excessive. She has what it takes. Which just maintain her. Like... So just maintain her. whatever house. shape, whatever size you uh, just feel proud about it. Don't let one... Like a dagger person start making you feel less of yourself. Okay, before we call it a day, speaking of size, uh, sexual organ does it matter like the size? You say celibate. celibate. So no, this is not church. This is this is a man. Well, you just you're a man of God now. I never said that. Ah, okay. So what's your question? Like uh, speaking of size, the sexual organ is he is it one of the major concerns for ladies? It is because if you don't satisfy your woman to a satisfaction. And she looks out. Nice at you. So abs now and all these medical things are already coming out that you can use. No. So that I've you know co- I've, I've corrected that notion. Yeah, if you are not using abs, there are still other things that you can use that are medically fit that you use it so that your wife will not look out because there are some women that their own libido is high. So mm-hmm. you don't start having problems, start complaining that ah. See men so they are dying on top six. You see that when they when they finish you see that they just pass out. Where are they going to? Are they going to? Are they going to, are they going to so, they so now, we just take one or two shots, they are good to go. And if you permit them. All right, people, thank you Let's for play. staying tuned. Thank you for keeping tabs on uh, um, M&B, Masculine and Bold. Thank you for tuning in to the Men's Corner to listen, to hear, to learn from, you know, the perception of men, women. And today's show is quite different because we decided to bring in a female, you know, to tell us what's ladies are expecting for we men but my own advice or my own message is that please don't simp like for whatever it is that you are nobody you didn't make yourself just so what apology- you to women oh, yeah, give us advice to, to women like to women I, I believe that you guys are not oh i really don't want to say this to the but fair girls i mean to the black dark girls are trying to be fair just because a guy is seeing uh, they should see their own beauty, not in someone else's beauty. Hmm. Yeah. Then to the fat girls. What to the fat girls, they are loved. They are, like most fat girls know, fat girls, they are good at taking care of us band. Hmm. So what are you? That, just, that, that all, those, all those, all those, pe- all those petty, that chunky one. Oh my, they will drain you. Just say short, which is chunky. Like. No, they are petty that they are not, they are lanky at the same time, they are short. I said something that one guy said he cannot date a short girl. Somebody here. Yeah. Then, then it's so what will you have to say to someone like that? I said, that Everybody has their own preference and it's very much respected. For one reason or the other, do you have why they are saying that? So what do you, what advice do you have to give to girls that are long? Because you just called me long. Right? Uh, for the girls that are long, they need uh, guys of you know short value <laughs> that can you know crawl from beneath you know <laughs> everywhere and all that. But it's all based on preference. Everybody is beautiful, wonderful, and. Carefully created, so that's it on M and B today. Before we call it today, just say one or two things before you know to wrap it up. Just like my Oga said, you know my Oga. Yeah. Just like my Oga said, just be good, enjoy your body. You don't have to 
even if you are going under the knife or you are doing anything extra to your body, do it because you want to do it, not because one guy is pressuring you. Do you know that most guys, when they even date someone that is slim, they end up cheating with someone that is fat? Yeah. So, why are we stressing ourselves for just be good, enjoy yourself, enjoy your body, feel fly and. All right, you've heard that from Momolade and myself. I'll just say, see beauty in your own way, not any other person's way. That you'll be satisfied with yourself. I remain my one and only self, Ogunle Bramayo Dele. A B baby, it's your bar. And I remain Omolade at the following. Thank you, people. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe and follow us on YouTube. We say we love you. Till next week. Bye.